So this PDF comprises of all the important uh, topics, the passing package for uh, ATCD subject. So as we have ATC, Automata Theory and Compiler Part, Compiler Design combined for the exam. So out of 20 marks for each module, 10 would be 10 or 12 marks would be for ATC and the rest would be for CD. Uh, it, it again depends on the modules. So coming to the first module here, we have, uh, they could ask us the definitions of uh, alphabet, strings, power of alphabet, uh, language and all. Uh, and then there's a must question, there'll be a must question on uh, DFA to construct a DFA. And then a difference between NFA and DFA and Epsilon NFA. Uh, and then along with that, we have a lazy evaluation method and subset construction to convert from NFA to DFA. But then the must question here is uh, Epsilon NFA problem, Epsilon closure problem and uh, minimization that is table filling algorithm. So we'll definitely have questions on these. Uh, I have uploaded, I have solved the questions uh, based on these topics and uploaded it in my YouTube channel. Do watch the ATCD playlist. So coming to CD part, uh, this question is much phases of compiler. It could be asked for eight marks or they can split uh, four marks for language processing system and difference between compiler and uh, interpreter is two, two. But then this is a must question, phases of compiler. Coming to second module here, we have two theorems. Uh, out of that one would be definitely asked. It could be pumping lemma or uh, the clean theorem. So out of those two, one would be asked for sure. Then coming to, and then problems on uh, obtaining epsilon uh, NFA from regular expression. That is also a pretty important question. And problems based on the clean theorem could be asked. Coming to the CD part, we have transaction uh, diagram for uh, identifiers, unsigned numbers and all. So along with that, we have input buffering and role of lexical analysis. So these are the important parts coming to the comp compiler design topic. In the third module, we have uh, a definition of context-free grammar and obtaining the context-free grammar from the given language. So along with that, we have ambiguous, from unambiguous to ambiguous conversion. So LMD, RMD and parse tree questions could be asked. So along with that, we have, uh, we, we, can, uh, we can expect questions on left factoring and left recursion. And then a top-down parsing, definitely there'll be a question. Or they could ask us to, uh, you know, find first and follow. I, here also I have, I have solved most of the questions of top-down parsing, finding the first and follow, left factoring, left recursion, and uploaded the videos in my YouTube channel in the ATCD playlist. Do give it a check. Coming to the fourth module here, we basically have PDA part and then uh, the bottom-up parser. So in PDA, there are standard questions, four or five questions. So out of those, one would be there. And then uh, coming to the bottom up parsing, there'll be a question on SLR or LALR or PLR. So that's that's pretty much about fourth module. So the first is PDA questions. And along with that, we have SLR, LALR and um, SLR, LALR and PLR questions for sure, yes. Coming to the fifth module here, uh, we have, again, we have Turing machine uh, definition working. And then there'll be a question uh, to accept, uh, to, to design a Turing machine to accept the language for sure. And then along with that, co coming to the compiler design part, we have issues in co code generator, or they could ask the SDD, or here we also have DAG, uh, di directed acyclic graph. And along with that, we have uh, three address code. So these are the important topics uh, from the fifth module. So if you go through these uh, important topics, I'm sure uh, you can score good marks, passing marks. Uh, looking at the important theory questions, which I've noted down here. So from first module, we have we have discussed that is the they could ask the definition, and along with that, a neat diagram in language processing and different phases of compiler here. So here are the theoretical questions. So along with that, coming to the fifth module, also we have theory questions. So in three address code, they can ask what is quadruple, triple, and indirect triple uh, representation, and then difference between syntax tree and parse tree issues and design uh, design of code generator code generation and then obtaining the DAG for the given expression and then we uh, constructing the dependency graph. What is the definition of SDD and types of SDD, yeah, all that. So here are the important questions, the problems uh, from first module and second module, third module, fourth module and the fifth module. So yeah, I'll be uploading uh, the important questions as well as the passing package in the Google Drive. Uh, which would be available in the description as well as in the comments. So along with that, I'll also be uploading module-wise question bank, which would comprise of uh, the theory questions as well as the problems. So most of the answers would be available in my uh, YouTube playlist. Which go, go through it. I have covered all the important topics and uploaded it on my channel. So subscribe to my channel.